So uh, this is the uh, last uh, four sets uh, to review. So uh, let's pick one out and see what I get here. And let's just randomly pick one. I won't look at it, but um, so let's see. Oh, so uh, today is a special one because this is the Tesco delivery crook. Hey guys, this is your Sue, and today I reviewed the Kogo Lickly My Tesco Store Tesco Crook. So this is the box itself here. Uh, so you see, it's recommended for just creating up. And yeah, so if you don't know what this is, uh, this is basically a series that's created by uh, Tesco and uh, supplied by uh, uh, Kogo. Uh, all the bricks here are all made by Kogo, but. Yeah, um, so all you have to do is to collect 12 stickers and uh, you have to pay 5 ringgit for each of these small sets. I'm not reviewing any small sets today because I'm reviewing the Tesco Crook, which is apparently not here for some reason. But yeah, so how you get a sticker is by paying uh, 30 ringgit or above when you buy all your groceries and stuff or some uh, other stuff to get the sticker. And yeah, um, and there's uh, uh, 10 in the entire entire collection and there's two that you don't uh, have to get the stickers to get it uh, which includes this one and the big Tesco store and this one uh, you can also pay with uh, the stick stickers as well if you pay with the stickers uh, you have to you just have to pay 9 ringgit but if you don't have the stickers you have to pay uh, 19 ringgit which is a little bit kind of a rip off but yeah so here's the box yeah, just a uh, pretty simple all my my Tesco store all around it, and you got the Kogo Maggie bricks, and yeah, so here's the back. But aside from that, that's uh, pretty much. So uh, this is the instruction manual here. So you see, it comes with 66 pieces, which is um, not very much actually for all the stuff that I'm paying for. So yeah, it's uh, actually pretty expensive, but. Um, yeah, uh, but uh, still it does come with a figure which is uh, definitely great, but um, yeah, um, total comes with 76 pieces, the crook is 66 pieces, and the um, uh, the figure is 10, pe 10 pieces, so yeah, but uh, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the instructions. So uh, this is the Tesco uh, worker figure included in the set here. So yeah, you can see uh, he comes with a helmet here, and his face is uh, very uh, looks just um, normal, uh, like all the other uh, figures that you would get in a uh, brick uh, brand set. And yeah, uh, so the torso you got the Tesco, and also you got uh, the collar, and also the. Uh, the button part and yeah um the in case you don't know uh the kogo figures they are just exactly like lego except uh yeah, uh you can't lean uh so uh you can't quite lean back but yeah i mean uh all the articulations and stuff uh it's basically the same as lego and yeah uh it's kind of unfortunate that uh they don't have any uh, back printing for any of these figures but yeah, I guess uh, it's fine for this kind of figure, but yeah, uh, that's it for the Tesco worker. So, uh, this is the Tesco crook uh, right here, and yeah, so uh, let's start with the front. Uh, so, the front, you have uh, the headlights, and yeah, they're in the this blue color, and yeah, it does look uh, great, but yeah, kind of a bit weird for uh, this kind of car, but yeah, uh, you have the Tesco logo at the front, and you got the, this grill right here, and yeah, this is kind of a turbo design because, yeah, this thing is easily removable. I mean, uh, you can just pull this thing up very easily, and yeah, it does kind of suck, and I wish uh, that it is a little bit more higher, and yeah, so that it would just match uh, this part, but... Yeah, I mean, it's still, it's still fine, but yeah, uh, you got this uh, tall w windscreen here, and you got the side mirrors, which is definitely a nice detail. You got opening doors, but you can't put the figure inside like this, but yeah. Um, also on the side, you got this big Tesco sticker, and yeah, um, 
it could have been a printed piece though, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, so the back, you got the Tesco uh, license plate, and you got the other side, you, you just got the same thing, and uh, you got this opening back door here, and yeah, um, so uh, you have uh, this tail light here, which uh, yeah, this is a uh, translucent blue uh, two by four uh, tile piece, uh, and yeah, uh, doesn't seem like Lego has made this before, so. Yeah, uh, it's definitely nice to get it, uh, but yeah, inside, you, you see I put some cargo in there, but yeah, it's uh, not included in the set, and if you want to access the inside, you have to uh, remove this entire thing, uh, yeah, it, it's not supposed to be removed, but yeah, uh, let's remove it, uh, it's kind of a bit hard. So, uh, this is the interior right here, and yeah, nothing else uh, too special really, you just have all the studs in the middle, and the sides, uh, they are just uh, these uh, wa uh, wall, kind of wall pieces, but yeah, uh, you can just put this back on, but yeah, it wasn't even supposed to be removed anyways, but yeah, uh, so uh, the wheels here, you can see uh, they have th this um, uh, rim and yeah, uh, the rim is a separate piece. So yeah, that's a uh, very interesting and you can just move this thing around But yeah, the sound that it makes is kind of a bit annoying, but yeah, I, and the bottom um, It doesn't have a very good like um, uh, Like skeleton or a like a structure of it. It isn't that great and Yeah, but um, you know, this is still uh, still uh, it's it's there for the shaping, but yeah, uh, so getting on to the cockpit here, uh, you got this piece, which is a very common piece, uh, you can just remove it, and you have the chair piece right there, and yeah, you do have a little bit of design, and you got the steering wheel, and unfortunately, you can't put the figure on there, because of how the legs, uh, you can, you can just stand him, I guess, but yeah, you can't put this thing over it, but yeah, I mean, if you have a any extra uh, Lego figures, uh, maybe you can put it inside. But yeah, it's kind of fortunate they that they didn't use any like other chair pieces to like kind of integrate this figure in there, or maybe just make a nice seat for him uh, or something. But yeah, uh, but aside from that, that's uh, pretty much it. So overall conclusion of this set here, so how do I think of it? Um, well, the figure itself, I think he's alright, um, he's just an extra inclusion, but yeah, uh, it's nice to get uh, an extra figure. And the bit itself, I think um, it looks alright, but um, yeah, the problem I have here is with the uh, front, it could have been a little bit higher, they could have added more, uh, a few more pieces, but yeah, um, it's it's just there, but yeah, and uh, and also the structure for this is kind of a little bit um, not secure, so you just you just have to watch out for that. But yeah, it's uh, the entire thing; it's only held up by all these pieces, and yeah, uh, like the entire structure, it's only held up by these three pieces, and. Yeah, these two, all these, uh, all these pieces here, uh, these modified pieces, they are not helping. Uh, yeah, they are just there. So yeah, that's uh, the structure could have been better. So yeah, but um, and the last problem I have here with the build is with the uh, seat because you can't put the figure inside. That's kind of annoying. Uh, like you have to have a offshore Lego figure to. Uh, put a figure inside, so that's kind of unfortunate, but yeah, uh, and also last thing I have here is with the price of the set, it's uh, 1990, uh, which is uh, 20 ringgit, but yeah um, it, in uh, USD, it's uh, $5 and yeah, it's actually pretty expensive without the stickers and yeah, not sure if I can recommend this or not, but yeah, e even with the stickers, it's uh, 10 ringgit, which is, um, yeah, it's it's fine, but yeah, the stickers, it's uh, a little bit hard to uh, collect, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, overall, I, don't, I do not recommend you getting this set here, because uh, the builds and all, all the uh, structure and the price for this is uh, terrible so yeah I mean unless you want to complete the entire collection I don't recommend you getting this one uh, you do not need this one to complete the Tesco store you just need the Tesco store and all the other eight um, 
uh, small sets but um, yeah so uh, that's uh, pretty much it so if you want to buy the set uh, maybe you can try to buy at the, uh, my Tesco store uh, Facebook group I'll put I'll put the link down in the description description box below and also to the uh, official uh, my Tesco store website and yeah uh, and I also put links to all my social media pages down in the description so if you like my channel make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here so that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll be